Hi, this is Monica with Advanced Dental Materials, and today I'm going to show you how to enter a help desk ticket in the system. First, go to the KMG Employee Portal. That's kmgemployeesite.com. Make sure you save that to your bookmarks if you haven't already. Next, click on this red button. It says Help. Now this screen is going to open up for all of our offices by entity. So if you're a Central Florida office, you can find your location here. Jacksonville, a courtesy office, or a cats or dental office at the bottom. So for the purposes of this video, let's say we're from Apopka. So I'm going to find my office here and click on it. Now I'm at the request page. To start the request type, I'm going to choose the entity under which my issue falls. So for the example today, let's say we're putting in a ticket for a low water fail on our autoclave. So I'm going to go to maintenance. And then under the subset, we're going to click on autoclave. And then in the subject, we're just going to let us know what's wrong. So autoclave serial number 138272472 is failing for low water. Please see photo of error message. Now we always want to make sure to write our full name. And the reason for that is if we have any questions before our technician leaves to check on your issue or if the technician has questions while he's on site. So I'm going to put my name here in the box. Next is the room number. Because this is an autoclave, we can just enter lab. For the serial number, we'll just copy the serial number here that we put in the subject line. If you don't know where to find the serial number for any of the, um, for any of the equipment, just feel free to email Monica or to email service at advanceddentalmaterials.com and ask uh, specifically about that machine and we'll be happy to help. So I put here in the request detail um, to see the photo of the error message. So let's go ahead and add a file to our help desk ticket. So I'm gonna click here on add file. Choose file. And let's find our picture of low water. Okay. So now I'm going to press upload. And this is the picture that's going to go along with our ticket. It's always best to include as much details as possible. So instead of just saying autoclave isn't working, we're going to include the serial, the issue at hand, and a picture. Now, the next set, the next step is to click on save. And it's as easy as that. So it's always a great idea to note your ticket number. So this ticket for the autoclave is 78883. And the reason why it's good to put that down is so you can check on the status of it later. So let's go back to that. We're just gonna keep this copied. Now on the same page that you would go to to submit a request, you can also see the history of all of your work, desk, work ticket systems. So just go ahead and navigate to the history button and you're gonna see the ticket that we just placed here for the autoclave. Now, when you click this button, you'll see the status. So say this autoclave was troubleshot by one of our technicians, but it needed parts. You would see here in the status that this would say pending. And then in the notes, you can see what the technician did on site. So perhaps it would say, you know, ADM technician uh, troubleshot autoclave needs new water pump. And you would see a PO, perhaps, um, of the part order or a date when we would come back to get that fixed. So if the status says open or pending, there's no reason to put in another ticket. It is being actively addressed and scheduled. Now, if you go to history, you can see literally all of the tickets for your, for your office in the past. So if there's something that is a persistent issue and you need more details, or you want to note an old ticket, you can go back through the history and search for it. You can also type in your ticket number here, click on search, and it'll pull up that ticket. That's why it's always good to write down those ticket numbers after submitting your request. I hope this helps you put efficient tickets in the system. If you have any other questions, feel free to email service at advanceddentalmaterials.com and we'll be happy to help. Thanks.